Well, yesterday, the Pulaski County Special School District made the call to close Sylvan Hills High School because of a credible threat that someone posted online. Today, closed again. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5, everybody. I'm Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Katz. Our own Jay Burr spoke today with both the district and the FBI. Jay, what did they have to say? Yeah, Bob and Ashley, the Pulaski County Special School District had legit concerns over staff and student safety, which led them to closing two campuses today. The FBI says the investigation is ongoing, and they are fed up with fake posts that pop up in these situations. The Pulaski County Special School District decided to close Sylvan Hills High School for a second day due to a second post that threatened the school. After the second post came out roughly around 7.30 Central Time, um, that we would shut the school down for a second AMI day just to allow uh, local law enforcement to kind of re reconvene and analyze the details between the two posts. An Instagram post was also discovered late last night, and this morning, district officials decided to also close the Sylvan Hills North Campus and added extra security to nearby schools. We decided, although no threat was ever made to either elementary school, due to the proximity to those high school campuses, we did have some added security at drop-off. The FBI says it is normal to see a spike in copycats after an initial threat is verified. We're really, really upset, and we're trying to get to the bottom of you know, the threats that have shut down this school, we don't need the hoax threats out there. They advise anyone who posts hoax threats because they're trying to be funny or to just get another day off of school that there will be consequences. They don't realize that at 2 a.m. when ASP and Sherwood Police and the FBI are kicking down your parents' door and pulling you out of the house and arresting you, that they're not thinking of those consequences. Hoax threats are not. Safety is definitely the focus of the FBI and PCSSD. We always take each threat very seriously at the get-go. Our first goal in everything that we do with the school district is to keep the kids safe. Now, as of right now, there is no update on if school will be going on tomorrow, and the FBI has been encouraged about the amount of response they've gotten from the initial post informing them of these message, and they encourage anyone who knows anything, whether it's a real threat or someone who could be posting one of those hoax threats, to call their tip line, 1-800-CALL-FBI. It's 1-800-225-5324. Guys.